Hello everybody, welcome back, Sport Federation TV. We are uh, now moving into the world of karate. For those of you that are watching for the first time, you'll of course know that karate is one of the codes in South Africa that is competing on a global level. And of course, our Western Cape athletes have been doing extremely well, including having competed at a provincial level and making it into the South African team. Recently, it was the Africa Championships held in um, KZN. And uh, in studio with me now is uh, Western Cape Karate coach Mario Boer, as well as uh, Carla Luff, and uh, we'll be catching up with Cassidy Williams. Mario, welcome. First time for you. Yes, thank you. Big for event for you guys. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was indeed uh, one of the biggest events for the year for our athletes. Yeah, and Carla, welcome to you as well. Thank you. First time for you on TV with us? Yes. But of course, you guys are famous now, South African national championships. Is everybody talking to you or your school friends coming to you and asking you about things? No, I don't really talk about my achievements with my friends. Mario, just talk, to, talk us a little bit through this. Uh, obviously, uh, getting to the event itself is a big event. I mean, you yes. have athletes had to compete, obviously, ground level through to provincials and districts and eventually in the South African championships. You got the best of the best at the Africa Champs. Yes, it was. <coughs> it was the number one of each national federation who competed against each other. For us as a national team, it was difficult to, to make that team um, because we had many qualif qualified events. And, and every time you must just prove yourself that you are the number one. And yeah. for us as Western Cape people, we are very proud of our achievements. Carlo, uh, let's you bef going to what Coach Mario said now. Um, you first competed in the in the Western Cape, and then you competed at the South African Championships to get there. Yes, so uh, you go from Uni City Trials to Western Cape Trials, then Nationals, and then from there you do different um, leagues during the year to get that rank number one, and then from there you go higher. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of coaching there, Mario. Yeah, it is um, continuous coaching, club level. Um, actually, all the work is getting done at the club level. Yeah. And when we move with them, we don't have so much to say anymore because they're in the end of, of the national coaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're just there to support them as, as, as a province. Right. So does it, do, do, all the, I mean, do all the coaches, like you were saying, just explain that to us. Every athlete is coming from a different dojo. Yeah. You, they each have their own coaches? Yeah, like, like from our side, we have many clubs in, in, in Cape Town. And once they made the, the provincial team, yeah. they get selected onto the national federation or national team. And then from there, there's national coaches that, that works with the athletes on, on different occasions. Yeah, yeah. Do the coaches then engage with each other about the, the upcoming competitions? Yeah, uh, I think on that level they, they work together and, and know what they want for the athletes yeah. and what type, type of strategy or tactics they will work on. Sure. Carlo, um, your coach is Troy Futter, right? Yes, he is. He's also, also a South African national competitor, competes at an international yeah. level. Has that helped you from a coaching point of view? Is working with a coach who also competes? Um, yes, it helps a lot. Um, I, me and him train a lot, so we help each other, build each other um, up. Yeah. I end up on the floor most of the time, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we help each other, build each other up. Yeah. Um, he tells me when he went overseas, um, he tells me, oh, this worked, they, they score this, they don't score this. Yeah. And he can also, um, he reads fights very well, so he helps me with that. And afterwards we look at our fights and, oh, we could have done this and you could have done this. So. Is that something that you do, Mario? Video? When yeah, you're we, do, we, we do a lot of um, research on, especially in, in line with this competition. Yeah. Once we could see with who we compete against, we did some homework. We do some research on the athletes, what type of fighters they are, how are we going to strategize to beat them. Yeah, yeah. What kind of things do the athletes focus on? Um, I mean, we were just chatting a little bit before the show about things like fitness and that. I mean, you're, you're one of South Africa's top coaches. What in your, in, the, in your experience is it that gets the athlete from zero to zero? I, I think mostly on, on, on this level that we are chatting about, 
it is most of the athletes are physical fit but i think it's the people with the best mindset and and most hungry to to get that medal those are the people that wins yeah. um most of the times i will chat with the athletes afterwards what was holding you back and there's a simple word the fear fear of scoring fear of scoring fear of scoring maybe they they get scared they're gonna get hit back on yeah that that is a type that's something that that's never talked about but yeah. Because I'm so long in the game, I like to find out what's holding you back, what goes through your mind yeah. when you're there. Because as a coach, I could see you can do this, but you don't do it. On a normal ba normal level, you will just attack. But yeah. on this level, you are holding back. What, what's the problem? Okay. Carla, you seem to be nodding in agreement here. Yeah. Is, is that one of the big challenges for, for, for athletes? Is I mean, it is a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Yeah. Yeah. It is a fight scenario. It's still probably one of the... One of the things that's toughest for any individual to do is is face off against another person. Mm. Yes. No, your mind is your biggest enemy, um, yeah. or it can be your biggest um, help. Yeah. Uh, at this stage, I would say my mind is a enemy at this stage. Yeah. <laughs> um, Troy uh, always asks me before and afterwards, "What are you thinking? What were you thinking?" And I sometimes just say, I wasn't thinking. I, I was, your mind goes through all the scenarios so quickly, you can't even comprehend, okay, uh, I can't, I have to do this and this and this. It's just it's a lot to think about. It's very fast and it's yeah. all happening in the spur of the moment. Well, we've got a video of you competing at the, at the Africa Championships. Am I saying it right, Mario? The yes, Africa yes. Championships? Well, African Championships. I know you guys call it UFAC, but mm. it's, yeah. it really is the Africa Championships. Folks, let's take a look at, um, at uh, Carla's, one of Carla's performances. Oh, wow, that looks pretty, pretty intense. Carla, talk us through that. What, what was going on there? I mean, looking at that, at that clock, you're on the mat. There's a, uh, I suppose for the person who's looking at a fight like that, and they're thinking you're standing at a distance like that, maybe it doesn't look like much is happening, but it's all in very, very fine moments. Mm. That, uh, I don't know how to explain it, the adrenaline going through you uh, makes you more tired than actually bouncing on the mat the whole time mm. um, and figuring out how to move around the hands, score um, through the hands is um, also quite um, a hard thing to do and then also um, thinking okay if I do this they might counter and am I in the right position to counter it and stuff like that so um, I moved around a lot to see what she's going to do uh, she did not do much um she was a defensive fighter like i i am yeah um so yeah. that does not help um sometimes. you're waiting for the attacks yes so you want to be able to mario yeah. is that what you t what, what yeah. different styles and strategies from even now while watching it you could see she's, she's setting up and and she's she, she's fearing can i can i go now or can i go later mm -hmm. and and then the other athlete just close the gap and yeah. keep the pressure and then she just breaks again so again, it comes to that, can I do it now or must I do it later? Well, it's quite incredible. Um, Carla, thanks for joining us. We're going to be catching up with your teammate, Cassidy Williams, um, in, a, in a second. Um, and we're going to be catching up with a cutter. But congratulations 
What an incredible achievement. South Africa's best uh, competitor. Just being able to go there, we're, we're extremely proud of you in the Western Cape. Thank you. Well, wow. Um, South Africa's best uh, competing there, of course, having gone through the provincial structures, winning at a South African championship, and then coming up against the best in Africa. More than 30 nations participating in the Africa championships in KZN. Folks, when we come back, we're going to be catching up with uh, um, Cassidy Williams. Uh, this time, we're going to be speaking about Qatar. Also, South Africa's number one taking on the best in the world at the Africa championships. Don't go away. We're back in a sec. <laughs>